It's absolutely true. We all love cutting dyes and we're always on the lookout for something new. Well, a lady named Dee in Canada has given us just that. They're called Dee's Distinctively Cutting Dyes. They're very unique and I can hardly wait to show you what we can do with them. There are lots of neat things. Come, Come play, play with us. us. Now here are the first of Dee's distinctively cutting dies. A, a cut above is another <laughs> part that she says. So you can see there's flowers and leaves. Right, we have a bell flower, bell, bell floral too. <laughs> that number two just tells you the, the number, the description of what it is. Right. Floral leaf set two, bell floral number one, floral leaves, they're called small small leaves actually, and a hummingbird. Right, so we're gonna show you each of them and show you some of the techniques. So I'm gonna scoot these over and right. let's bring in our first project, which is that beautiful hummingbird. Isn't it beautiful? So this hummingbird was cut out each of these individual, individual pieces, which I kinda like to show you the individual pieces. Oh, okay, well here's the cutting die. You gonna bring the pieces in? Right, I'll okay. bring the pieces and that's what they look like. They actually come connected. We've used these so they oh. we've disconnected them. They're very easy, you just sort of bend them like that okay. to break them apart. And then they come in these separate shapes. To construct that hummingbird, you're going to use the body and then you're gonna use this upper shape that can be set uh, glued or foam taped right on top of there. Then you add the wing, and then there's a little bit of a wing topper there that adds a little bit of uh, dimension to that wing. Ah. And that's how it's done. Ooh, that's pretty. Those, those are done on shimmer sheets, actually. That's yeah, gorgeous. Pretty. Well, and these were done on a combination of the blue fireworks holographic, which I think is just spectacular, <laughs> right. and then the um, suede. So you've got the shiny and the texture just beautiful going in there. And Isn't it beautiful? And then yeah. the, that uh, small leaf was used also. And That's one of the other cutting dies. Okay. And it Here's... actually has two. Right. And like I said, these are connected. We left those connected, but you can pull them out, uh, break them apart, and use them individually. Okay. Break or cut. Okay. Break or cut. And then, uh, then that's what they look like separately. This was done on the glimmer paper, which right. you see on the card. Right there. So these were the three that were chosen for the hummingbird and the leaves. Let me bring this back. This is just gorgeous. <laughs> so you can cut out lots of those little those little leaves and layer them underneath those right. beautiful flowers. And here are the petaloo flowers. This is, let me see, this is the antique gold. So you can see that going in there. Right. I love that the whole thing was put on top of another cutting die. And this is one of the, which one of the two oval doilies and mats right. cutting dies. So you've actually got the oval doily there on black cardstock, and then in ivory cardstock, the mat that's right. go, that goes with it. So it's just beautiful. And what I appreciate about seeing that other co color combination mm -hmm. in this one is just it just opens the variety right. that you can do. If you look, uh, I love this little touch. So black jewel dazzles <laughs> for an eye on the hummingbird right there. There you go. And cute? if that doesn't work, you have 539 more that there you, you can <laughs> envision with. there. This was also done on the rosemary and time paper oh, pad. Oh, the, eight, the six, eight, six by six papers. Right, the yeah. six by six papers. So you just add a little bit of uh, jewel border dazzles at the top and the bottom there. I have a feeling those small leaves can just be so useful in oh, so sure. many things. Sure. And on the inside, ah, just a little, just a little, little touch, yeah. isn't that beautiful? Very nice. And you can write your message. Okay, right. now we're going to go into another of the sets, and this is the Bellflower 2. And this is an interesting project, too. It's actually yeah. done. Oh, we want to start with the stencils or the um, cutting dies? Well, or? let's start with what it's on. So okay. this is a trinket box, and this is a trinket box that looks like a book. Right. And um, this comes from our friends at La La Land. And this was actually sprayed with glimmer mist around the rest of ah. it here, and it's very 
easy to put together the parts. You just put it together, you glue it with tacky glue. And actually, we're going to be showing you a, another one in just a second, and this is the one I opened up. So right. there are two. So there's a book trinket box, and then there's mm -hmm. a trinket box. And I thought it might be helpful just to see what these are. There are instructions, um, assembly instructions right. on the back of the packaging. Mm -hmm. And it says that these are out of a paper board. And it almost it kind of feels like balsa wood. But I mean, it's, right. I'm sure they know what it is. Right. <laughs> and, they, and they cut it so that you actually get, on one side, yeah. you sort of get these little burn marks from where they've cut it. So Looks that's, like it's laser cut, Right, so it? that's kind of the back side. And then you can, these were sprayed with glimmer mist before it was put together. I just want to show you how easy, how well engineered this is. So all of the pieces that create the box part of it are just pop right out and they just connect together like so. Okay. So you can see that this, these are notched so that they're just going to come together and you will want to glue them. So just like so. Yeah. And that's going to create the box that will sit inside this area so mm -hmm. you've got you know four pieces so that's the that's this part here that right. was put there's the box part and it's true of both of them and then this is going to it's fold scored, so right we'll go ahead it's cut and scored right and then you've got another top and you also have the oval so you can play interchanging lifting them with foam tape right whatever you want so to that, do so that background in there is actually the background behind here and this right. is that piece on top that's been covered with paper and you even get that little banner that's yeah, right I love there the little banners they're so fun so just wanted you to see that that's right. new for us and so just I, really happy with it <laughs> it's very cool and that and the end here was inked and then there's some paper on the back right. on the cover this is the robin's red paper pack okay and let's show you what was used here so this is the bellflower 2 going with the bellflower 2 leaves and just like the cutting dies we showed you earlier, these come a whole collection so that right. one run through gets you several right. of them. Now see on some of them, this one you can actually break them apart so you can do them individually mm -hmm. or you can leave it together. This one comes in one piece, you wanna leave it together. So the nice part about that is when you cut it apart, you get all of these all at once. I just have a few of them sitting here, but that's what they look like individually after they get popped You've gone off. shimmer sheet crazy, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> shimmer sheets are fun. <laughs> Look at that, they shimmer. <laughs> And then here are the leaves individually. And let's, what, yeah. yeah, let's get in close so you can see, and I'm hoping you can see them, but there are ridges that are part of the cutting die, and right. it's just gonna add just some really nice texture and depth right. to it. Right, it leaves that impression. Now what I found that when I'm running this through the, the die cutting machine, mm -hmm. If you don't have quite enough, like if you might need to add another shim oh. of cardstock to make sure that you're getting okay. those lines impressed there. Otherwise, you'll just get the cutout and you might not get the, all okay. of the lines. So Now, you might notice that what Dee has done, and we've just copied her, mm -hmm. is um, she has shaped them. So you can see those leaves are kind of convex. They're right. going in. And the blossoms are going the opposite way. They're cupping. Right. And she has just, I mean, it just adds, it's so easy to do and it adds such dimension. It is really easy to do. And what we used is the paper, the paper blossoms. Right. Uh, tool molding, let's see, what's right. it? Right, it's, it's a paper blossoms paper tool kit. kit. So, so it it's looks got, like this when it's all yeah. put together. And it's got all of these styluses. Right. <laughs> so this is the one I pulled out. I pulled out one with a little bit of a larger head because if you, Pick one that's too small for this size of shape, it's just gonna put a tiny little indent. You want one of that that larger. Okay. And then here's the molding mat that's been a well used molding mat. Or you can use a mouse pad, just anything that's a right. cushion. Right. So you've got one of these for it for this one. The molding was done on the top side of the leaf. Okay, and um, you're going to take this stylus and don't do what I first did the first time. I thought, okay, well, let's just press down the center. Hard as you can. And hard as you can, <laughs> and you can easily rip the paper. Now, granted, it's a scrap of paper and it's not the end of the world, but you're going to be better off if you do it lightly and going in a circular motion in the center and just keep doing that right. and it's going to start lifting it and cupping it and just really making it right. uh, exactly and the dimension. And work your way out to the edges and if you come across any little wrinkles you can smooth it out a little bit with that big ball tip. 
Now, probably so. I could have done it on the other side too, and have sure. been able to see the um, those ridges right. that I so carefully. Right. <laughs> so, so, like for instance, for those bell flowers, they were done on the opposite side okay. to create create the convex shape instead of the concave. So you just and you'll you know you'll get a hang of it as you are um, as you're doing it, but it doesn't take much. And let me show you again the result is right here. So these were um, just glued in place. There's a little bit of little foam, bit of foam tape, tape, a uh -huh. little bit of zotting going on. <laughs> and it's just, of course, it's always so much easier when you've got something to follow. Right. Um, this I, was patterned paper. It was, this was paper. cut. So that was from the Robin's Red paper pack, okay. but there's also cardstock. The green and the red are from cardstock. And I find when you're arranging a whole bunch of those little die cuts like this, it's, it's it's good to start down at the bottom because you're going to be covering up each layer, gotcha. maybe zot a few on, then put another layer on, and just keep adding until you get the look that you want. Now it looks like some stickles or something was put on top. I think that was crystal, crystal, oh, crystal lac lacquer. Wait a minute. Um, glitter. Microfine. Oh, the microfine glitter? Yes. Okay, yes. So probably just a little bit of a glue stick and yeah. then sprinkle the glitter. Very on. Isn't nice. That beautiful? Now it is framed quite nicely with the uh, cutting die, and this is the three lacy labels. So it again uh, just gives it a nice kind of frame, right. a kind of a home for that large to place it. Yes, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Now, scrapbookers, you are not forgotten. <laughs> Here is um, similar, same thing was done, and this time on a chalkboard scrapbook page. And we're using that Bell Floral 2 cutting die mm -hmm. here, and these are the leaf number two. Right, same thing we just shot. Right, saw. so those have been molded. This time they've been cupped, you know, the other way they've been cupped is what's called convex like that. Mm -hmm. So that's how these are all shaped. And there's something kind of interesting going on <laughs> behind to get those stems. Here you can even see them a little better over here. Lene said that she took the cardstock like so. She started by drawing a line where she wanted the stem to go. She drew okay. with a white gel pen so that you could get that, that white line. Then she took her piece of twine, which is a baker's, baker's twine. twine. And this one has the um, the silver right. wrapped around Smire it. Smire Rhodes. Right, sparkle silver. Mm -hmm. And then she used tacky glue, put it on that line, and then just placed the just twine on right on there. That gave her an idea of where she wanted her stems. You know, and I do have place. to tell you that D in her D's distinctively line mm -hmm. does have a cutting die that does exactly that, but oh, you guys didn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> but just a beautiful touch, and I also like, this is on the chalkboard, that there's a sheet of all of these um, chalkboard greetings, and they make do a really nice job. That's great, isn't yeah. it? I, I, I want to point out, that this, this is great, she cut around the banner too and lifted and ah. put that photo underneath there, the photo matting. Very nice. nice so so okay. just a little bit, I mean, they're just added down here on the corners, just in these two spots, but it makes just a bright, cheery look around it that does. photo. It does. Now, as I said, the, we have the trinket box and we have the trinket book box. This is the trinket box. And here we have our hummingbird, and it has been married with these um, bell blossoms number one. And just like the other ones, you get a whole bunch. And these have two different types. You can see there's right. a cap as well as the bell blossom. Right, so the actual, after you use the cutting die, you're gonna get a piece that looks like this because they all came out together. Right. But I did them, I did it twice so I could get two sets of them. And then you have, you have right there, the blossom itself. And then you have the little cap that, if I turn that over, and you can set that on right top. on top of it, like so. And in the case of the box that we were just looking at, they were each molded individually so that you can place them on top right. and get that cup shape. Let me bring this back so you can take another look. Now this box has the same thing. Let's go out for a second, John. Thank you. And you can see it has that nice oval. You get the little banner as well as the box and all the pieces. Now in this case, okay, now John, we can go back in tight. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can see that not only that bellflower, but also these small leaves were small used. Leaves and were again, used. the two right. of them. And they were used uh, on the tan suede. So it's, and oh, so was the hummingbird. That's yes. the tan suede. Isn't that great? A little bit of, uh, looks like blue. Uh, 
uh, or teal jewel dazzles. We've got the eye again. Just beautiful. And now this one, this hummingbird was just put together. It was just glued together. It wasn't right. foam taped together. You can certainly do that, add a little more depth. And you can certainly shape that hummingbird. And we've sure. not done that, we but done that. I think it's gorgeous. So, and I think it's fun also, you know, I would kind of in my head not think of the brown for the leaves. Right. I would obviously go to green, but it's lovely in those tones. It's just, just really it just pretty. adds a really nice, oh, I love the jewel dazzles, the little tiny jewel dazzles. And this is that, that comes with the box. There's right. that label and it was uh, painted with distress paint. Right. Now, um, so I think the cupping and doing it, it's something that you can do really fast right. and do the layering and really make quite a statement. So uh, whether you want to do it on a card, scrapbook page, do the trinket sure. boxes, or how about, are you ready? I'm ready. Ta-da! <laughs> this is wonderful. I, I think of it as a phoenix, <laughs> going back to uh, my... Uh, <laughs> when, I, when I made this card, I was thinking about, okay, we have a couple of things that have the bird with the leaves going around. And so mm -hmm. I wonder how I can use those leaves with the ah. bird as the bird. And so that's what I came up, the long leaves. So the small leaves, the long pointed ones are used for the tail and they're done in parchment and on these iris shimmer sheets. Right, so you used the uh, shimmer sheets. Now this is the sampler pack the sampler and pack. this is the this iris. Is the iris, okay. the iris sampler pack. And it comes in these great you yeah. can't see them over there these great pastel colors so you can go back and see the webisode that right, we just did on right them. and it shows all of the different colors yes. and uh, then I, I used <laughs> I used the bell floral number two to create more of the little flowers oh. right here in, in uh, the vellum and also on the orange shimmer sheets and place that under the wing oh, okay. there's a little more to this on the it... actual bird I cut out here's the bird body shape I cut it out in pink can you see that? Uh -huh. Then I cut it out again in white and oh. offset the white a little bit to give it just an edge on this side. And I did the wing twice so I could have that extra layer of wings and the tail twice. So the deal is if you're going to have those dyes, you are going to use them. Use them. Cut out a bunch <laughs> of them and then just start putting them together. So these are all just layers on right. layers. And I actually foam taped this part of the wing just kind of gave it a little more dimension. Oh, I love that. And then I put the whole thing on acetate. Right, that's what I wanted to lift up. So it's on acetate, it's got those jewel dazzles, and it's just, just laying on top of the card. Right. And that's and with that's the grapefruit. And that's the grapefruit mm -hmm. paper pack. There's also something kind of interesting down here. This is one of our digital stamping sets, and it's Enchanted 2. Okay. So it's got lots of images on that stamp and cutting uh, set that you can download right. and print. And so this was printed, and I talk a little bit about the technique I used, which is when you download the images on just a plain old photo editor, you can change and add add effects like a shadow. Ah. So I added a shadow to it before I printed it. One other thing I wanted to point out since acetate is over the top, the acetate stops at the fold of the right. card. And what you've done, well, why don't you explain well, it? Well, I used ultra tape, first of all, and I used ultra tape to attach the acetate to the card, and what then I just covered the edge up with okay. border dazzles. Now the ultra tape comes in quarter inch and half inch and it's just super super sticky right um, the orange is a liner so it pulls off it's actually right. clear double-sided and okay. it works really good with the shimmer sheets that's in particular why oh. I use the ultra tape because it just kind of needs something a little more sticky I just love this <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> glorious so okay. uh, Harry Potter with Phoenix um, with the shimmer sheets right. with the drink of boxes mm -hmm. inside, and inside with the card. these distinctive dyes they okay. certainly are I'm oh you want to go inside we I didn't did. go inside. We didn't go inside. Oh, look. So okay. just a few more of those little cutting dies as an accent. Cute. And that's another one of the digital downloads. Sore. Very nice. Beautiful. Well, it'll be fun to hear what Dee thinks of all of this. Hope she likes it. <laughs>